All right, we're the orange player last in the turn order, and the map is Europe Advanced, and these are the bonuses. And the Orient is, uh, ooh, it's a split hold because this blizzard right here. Same with North Africa, it's a split hold as well. This blizzard doesn't do much. This blizzard makes into a one point hold here or here for Southwestern Europe is really nice. And this blizzard right here makes into a two point hold instead of a three point hold for Scandinavia. So that's pretty good there. Also makes into a one point hold for the noob corner. So I wonder who's gonna go for that. We're playing capital mode. The red player did not ready up the lobby and they became a bot. That's fine. There's still four human players in the lobby. It's plenty. This makes the split hold right here for uh, South Southern Europe, Italy, which makes it into a one two point hold over here for West Africa if they clear that out and uh, they block out this. So you capped here because they, they want the Orient. So they're going for the Orient or they want to cap this way because they want to have uh, Southeastern Europe. They want this cap here, I guess. It'd still be a one, two, three, four point hold. Yeah, I guess it's fine either way. Maybe they want both. They are, uh, purple's going right there. That's a great capital for purple. Great spot for them. We got three here. I mean, if nobody goes for the noob corner, we could try to get it. So one point hold down there. I could cap right here uh, and have a two point hold on it. It's not two point hold and plus five is all right. Um, the red's going over here either this way or this way. Hmm, so red's going over here, black's going over here. Red's a bot though, remember that uh, red bought it out, so I could stack some troops over here, cap here, and try and like yoink the bot capital. It's not a terrible play. Got five here. Oh, magenta capping down here, so magenta and purple are going to clash in here most likely. And then the black player's going to be uncontested over here. And so there's one two, three, four caps. Where do I want to go? I could go over here uncontested. I could get this entire region uncontested. That's not a terrible play. I just don't love my cap position right here. I definitely don't want it back there. I could cap over here and eventually have a two point hold on this entire little section back here. No, a one, two, three. Still not bad. Maybe, maybe we try that right there. Bit of a gamble. Be pretty easy for somebody trying to hit that four the first turn, like stack seven right there. But it is true random, and capitals do have defensive bonus. And what I can do is I can like stack a couple troops over there, just defend a bit better. I do want to try and grab Iceland right away, but true random is kind of nasty on attacking when you have like less than ten troops. See how they just lost <laughs> five attacking a three? It's because it's true random. There they go, they got it. Yeah, it's definitely important to pay attention to the dice before you start the lobby. Balance Blitz is a little more predictable. True random, you could have a 9 attack at 2 and lose 8 troops not get the territory. It's, it's very dangerous attack with less than 10, but I think it makes it more fun and exciting, so I like to do it a little bit sometimes to mix it up. Red, the bot is stacking over there. Interesting. Not really what I'm looking for, but as long as it doesn't attack my capital, that's fine. Just waste troops over there. I don't care about that. And here's the question. Do I, st like... I could stack here and start working my way through this, try and yoink their capital, have an extra capital. That's worth plus two right there. Or I could just leave it alone. Like, they're even fortifying off capital, man. They're even fortifying off capital. Question is, will somebody else take it before me? Because, ooh, purple stacking over there tells me they might want to go for Iceland. I mean, I did kind of cap over here instead of over there. Hmm. Fail the 3v2? Fail it. Fail it. They're going to slow roll it. That's good. I want to see. It's true random. I want to see them get bad luck and not get Iceland. Just lose two troops. Lose two troops. I know you're rolling that. I know you're slow rolling that. I want you to lose them all. No, they switched down to here and they talked off their capital. So they're giving up on that. They're waiting for better dice. So if I want to get this from purple, I kind of need to do it now. I don't want purple to have Iceland and work on this while also being down here. Don't love that. But I also want to like, I, I'd rather like it's a plus two. This is a plus two. This is a one point hold on a capital. This is, you know, they're split down here and up here without a capital defend up here. So if I could yoink red, it's the problem is I got to go through a one, a two, a one, a two, and a one on a cap, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven troops in true random. It's kind of crazy to do right now. It's kind of a crazy grab to go for. Also, red seems to want to go for Central Europe here, which is not great. What are you doing there, uh, magenta? You're stacking down here, okay. Then again, I uh, that's it. Yeah, it's one, three, five, four, six, seven troops. I gotta go through to get it. Whereas this, I can just go through like four. And also, I want to discourage purple from going over here. I won't. All right, that's they have some troops there. I want purple to mess around down here and be forced to fight magenta. I don't want purple having a foothold up here. Eight troops is nice. So we are going to stack them all right here. I'm gonna really hope we beat this ten v three. It's not guaranteed. Come on, we do, and the dice weren't terrible either. I want, uh, I want purple out of here. So let's do that and stack that. 
Red, I don't think is going to attack over here, so... I mean, it won't let me leave two up there. I mean, I could try to force them out, but... Is it worth it? We'll try it. Oh, the dice favored us. Fantastic. Get Red out of there. I don't think Red's going to attack over there. So, wait, no, no. Uh, my capital is kind of undefended over there, but... Hopefully, no, he goes for it. Purple could actually stack here and try to take my capital. Honestly, if we lose that capital, it's only plus two a turn. I got Iceland as well. And I can reclaim the noob corner, have a one point hold, and then eventually work on getting down to here and then just take that capital back eventually. The black player decides they want to go for the capital. They have to go through as much to get it, so it's a good play. I had to go through an extra one, two here and didn't want to risk the bad dice. Also, I just, I don't want purple getting strong over here the section of the board that I wanted to go for. If purple had never touched this, I might have tried to work towards that. The black player's in a pretty good position. Basically, we got a bot that's kind of a non-factor that's going to go harass, or go around harassing people. And it seems to be that I'm who they're kind of going to be going around harassing right now. The, the bot wants to go for my part of the board, not the part of the board they capped in, which is pretty uh, not cool of the bot for us here, but we're going to deal with that. But it's also fixed. I need to get this five out of there. I can't get the five out of there because I need the bot to not have that bonus, frankly. I realistically, I should just uh, stack some troops here and just attack the bot a bunch. If the, look how quick purple takes their actions, either they click crazy quick or they got a macro. Purple's a sweat. Purple's not a beginner. Purple's a sweat. Watch out for purple, skilled player. They took uh, orange out of there real quick. Purple is a massive, not orange, but a magenta. Take it back, get good dice. They got good dice, fantastic. I need magenta to slow down purple. If purple gets that bottom, like if they get this right here, a one point hold on two capitals and those two bonuses, that's a problem. It's a problem for us. What do I do here? Um, I could stack here and go through one, two and try and get that from you. Uh, I need the bot to stop playing around in here is what I need. I need the bot to just leave this territory alone so if I take out a bunch of what they have around here, just, you know, take out a bunch of it. I don't need to take all of it. I just need, I got some good dice there. I just need the, also need to fortify this up. I need the bot to stop stacking in Central Europe and attacking around here. I need the bot to go like over here or just leave, leave me alone, basically. So you, man, the, the black player's in a nice spot. Didn't have to worry about I'm ha I had to, I want my section of the board. I had uh, the purple player playing around here. I had the red player playing around here. Uh, magenta uh, and purple friend. The black players in the perfect spot are like they got to yoink the bot cap. They got this uncontested. They're just getting pretty much left alone. Nobody's contesting them for what they're going for. The black player is just having like the dream start. They're really just having the dream start. It's really good for them. All right, the bot stacked over there. That's good. I don't really care about them stacking over here in the generic Alps. That's fine. Boss can attack a bit, get a card. Remember, this is fixed. So having like a, a good one point hold over here or like a, I mean, a three point hold kind of a lot, but a three point hold on one, two, three, four bonuses and a cap. Also blocking that is pretty good. Pretty nice. Imagine if the black player wants to block here, that could be off cap. They're pushing me out of there. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Magenta still in there. They got to save troops with otherwise Magenta can get them out of there. Yeah. Interesting match here. Interesting match. I would like to get this. I would like to have gotten that last turn, but just as you saw, the bot was causing problems. They need to get one card and chill. Smart move trying to like slow down the rate. This guy gets their bonus. That's a good play in Magenta's part. Seems like I got some decent players in here. All right. Uh, don't attack too much. Get that back in your capital. Get that back in your capital. Oh, they're going to try and grab this here. Uh, do I even want them over here? Here's the thing. If they... I kind of want to push Magenta out of here because if they decide to hit this, try to fortify up there. That's troops are spending over here. That I want them to put down there. But for now, what we need to do is get this. Get the bot out of here. Get the black player out of here. Get this. The dice have been good to us. Let's not greed too much. Fortify that back up a little bit. Now we're in a better position. We got a one point hold on plus five. Nine is breakable right now. Plus 13 for you is a lot. You're in a strong position but I think we could catch up pretty quick. And also, if purple eventually conquers magenta here, which I think they might, then their path out is probably gonna be through the black player, which could be good for us, and they'll eventually break that. It'd be great if we could eventually push purple out of here, out of here, and out of here, so that purple, if they ever wanna do anything, to like, or magenta, whoever conquers it, has to go through uh, the black player. That would be good. Them getting this plus six, 
could be a bit of an issue. I'd rather they don't get that right away. That's a big bonus. Wait, wait, wait. They have to get this. They have to get this. So they got to go through all of this to get that. Yeah, he's, they don't have it yet. They do have a lot of territories. We've got 22 territories. They're nicely in the lead. They're nicely in the lead. I had to waste a bunch of troops attacking the bot and clearing that out. It was a bit rough for me. So we're playing a bit of catch up, but I think we're going to be in a nice position. Ooh, the bot trades in. Break them. Break them. Don't stack down here. Break them. Break them. This is why I could get the, get the bot out of there. Come on, don't attack the two. Don't attack the two in generic Alps. Break them. 64. All right, that's good. That's, oh, fantastic. Lost five over there. Love that. Nah, going for that Central Europe again, huh? Yes, get good dice. <laughs> I can't believe we got a 6v4 on true random. Oh, that's so good for us. That's so good for us. All right, good. That's four less troops this guy. Actually, that's eight less troops he has because he lost four and he won't get a bonus of four next turn. That's huge for us. I need to push the bot out of here. I need to, like, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this. Ooh, the dice they got. Man, purple takes reaction so quickly. Telegraphing a lot that they're pretty experienced. I think I think that's just going to win this contest contest down here. Purple's going to win this eventually because they've got a bonus. This guy's not getting that bonus unless they hit this. Or uh, Magenta needs to, like, stack here, hit this. They need to not defend off capital. They need to defend on capital. I think Purple's pretty experienced. Magenta, kind of new-ish. Not totally incompetent, but, you know been the newer side. Bad luck that uh, they got pushed out of there. What could Magenta do right now? Frankly, not much. All, all Magenta could do right now, hit here, fortify back to cap. All Magenta can do right now, if they won't have a chance, is just card trade and stack cap. And only card trade if they can do it on the cheap and just stack cap, stack cap, stack cap. And then hope that somebody does some damage to purple or purple makes a misplay and they come back. It looks like they might be botting out. They've seen that purple's too strong, they're giving up. So, but for me, this could actually be a good thing. If, Ma if Magenta gives up and bots out, and purple gets this, what's purple going to have to do to get out of here? We need to push purple out of here and here eventually, but for now, I got a bot that's causing problems, so we need to uh, deal with that. Um, I need to have control over here. Would be good. Get control of this. And then we could uh, fortify... I don't want to split defend this. Do one of these. We could get broken here. I'm just going to have to hope that we don't. It's true random. Hitting a 7 a true random. It's a bit dicey. Hopefully they stay out of it. Oh, he card traded to get that uh, taken over down there. Okay. Oh, see, 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 this is good. This is what I want. I want the black player messing around with this and with this. And that way they eventually have to deal with purple who gets strong down here. And yeah, purple's got to go through there but we just got to we got to get my area but we got to get purple out of here we got to get purple out of here that way purple can't be like car trading up here or something like that although car skipping in fix is not always the end of the world if you have like a good troop advantage Ooh, yeah yeah i like this the black players getting, distra getting distracted by purple when in reality i'm gonna become a pretty big threat oh smart the black player realizes what's happening over here with the bot attacking over here and they're giving the, the black player and, and the purple player both seem they seem pretty smart and experienced they seem to know what they're doing this guy recognizes that the bot's gonna keep breaking them don't bother this bot loves central europe they love it they love it love it love it i gotta get him out of there the black player's not going for russia yet yeah they're trying to get away from the bot it's weird that they're choosing to try and grab north africa yeah, like, because you, you got to know Purple's going to be coming through here. Purple's going to be winning this and coming through there. Look how quickly they take their actions. They're either really good at slamming that enter key, or they're using macros, one or the other. I'm not sure if macros are even allowed in this game or not, so I don't touch them. Um, Magenta. Did you bot out? That's the question. You did. They did bot out, so. It'll go to, like, right around here in the bottle. Oh, don't put up there. I mean, the bot. If Magenta bots out. Oh, wait, that's good. The bot might hit that, too. Yeah, 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 hit it, hit it. yeah, nice, nice, win, 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 nice. Now it's all the easier to push purple out of here. If we can, I think purple's a little bit distracted down here and not worrying about the fact that they're going to be blocked out of this part of the board without going through the black player. So, I mean, I don't really want to worry about it right now. Um, I mean, I could just stack here, boom, 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 boom. Um... Yeah, you know, it's this it's just, it's just too strong to get them out of this part of the board. It's just too strong. And what I can do is I can do some damage here. Don't take the bonus yet. I don't want these guys 
No one up to over here. Do I get that? Good. Then fortify, you know, this like over to here, I guess. Don't grab it yet. Don't put too big of a target on my back having Central Europe as well. I don't want to like get this guy an incentive to come down and try and break me. Just want to soften up red trend. Ooh, I'm going to get broken here. Yep, I'm going to get broken here. Unfortunate. I didn't think the black player is going to do this. I'm going to, if we get broken here, it's fine. It's fine because he's got what purple has nothing to do but come through and hit him. So he's going to break me here, break on my bonuses. I've got 10 that can run it back and we can reclaim most of this. He got great dice. We're only losing four and I lost seven. This is fine. All he's doing here is leveling the board up a little bit making an enemy out of me when he has a player down here that is locked in with only him to attack. The dice he's gotten is fantastic, but I've got a 10 stack right here and he card traded to do that. I can easily just go back, uh, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, and then just fortify it all back. You know, I should just leave like 10 right there and recover from all that. I actually stack here and attack my way out. Well, no, stack with the big one, right? We just get all that back. And at the end of the day, we still push purple out of here. He still doesn't have the Orient. He doesn't have this. So we're doing pretty good. We're, we're in second place on troops, but pos my position on the board is pretty good. I've left my like I left myself vulnerable here. Didn't think he'd be able to attack a seven, but he did. That's why I was a gamble going there, pushing purple out. I still think I made the right play. Pushing purple out was the right play because now if purple wants to do anything ever. They have to go through and push through North Africa or they have to push through this, which he's given up holding. So. Dude's got no bonus, he's just stacking on two caps. Now, if Black is the kind of player who just wants to give him a bonuses and just live on caps the entire game, that's a bit of an issue, but in fixed, that doesn't work quite as well. In progressive, if we were playing progressive, him just having two caps and just living on those would work. No, but not in this situation. All right. So, yeah, we're gonna... I'm not gonna worry about trying to grab Central Europe. Maybe we just... Uh, uh, we got a card trade here. What do we have? We have plus 10. Fantastic. We stack these over. I mean, yeah, let's, I could just try and grab it. There's a world where I get to hold it. Unlikely, but hit this. Leave three. We hit here. We hit here. Get you out of here a little bit. I'm going to what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move over to here. Just for now, just to make sure it's less likely we get broken again, because he'll probably try again. He got plus 12 there, right? Let him break this. Let him break this. Next turn, we can try and like, you know, come back a little bit here. Ah, look at the card trade on three. He's desperate. Card trading on three. Oh, he's desperate to protect himself down there. And he's... Oh, the black player making an enemy out of both myself and orange. Oh, sorry, I bumped the mic there a little bit. Not sure if it picked up on the noise or not. But I'm not sure this is... The, like... The black player, he's, he's, oh, he gets that. He gets that. This is actually good for me. This is good for me because now I can work on getting this one, two, three point hold on four bonuses in my cap, which I'm trying to, I'm trying to get for a while. And he's, uh, the black player just wants to hold capitals. It's like he's giving up on holding bonuses and he just wants to hold capitals. I mean, look, those do give him an extra plus six, but my one point hold right here gives me a plus five, right? The boss can keep just messing around over there. That's fine. This is actually going, this actually turned out pretty okay for us. Like, I'm actually pretty happy with how events are turning around here. Not sure why I stacked 10 there. It's a weird choice. Why not put down your capital, right? This is, is he trying to keep the bot from getting Scandinavia? Always, oh, maybe he's trying to like encourage the bot to come down and hit my three. I don't know. Not super worried. The bot's going to card train a five and hit that three now that I think about. It. I should pay attention to the card, but eh, whatever, it's a three, a couple of ones, who cares? As long as bot doesn't go down to here, be okay. Purple trades in, and they're gonna break your bonus. Oh man, they, they take their action so quickly. Purple is a threat. Oh, but the terrible dice! But the terrible dice! This is good, this is good. I'm catching up, only what? Seven troops behind the black player, haven't had it go yet. The bot's gonna smack this three. Hopefully they don't go all the way down to the, here and break that, but they might. I still got this over here. Oh, but they don't! They car trade and hit the 10! I can't believe my luck! I can't believe my luck! Do I take out the purple bot right now? Or the magenta bot? Kinda wanna leave him alone, frankly. Ah, uh, kinda wanna leave him alone. But I could take him out for three cards and car trade again. Uh, right? Get, get him out of here. Hit this, hit this, leave three. Oh, whoops, I screwed it up. 
I just fed the kill. I mean, he had the kill. You know, it's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Um, put this down here. I just fed the kill. I forgot that. I always do that. I forget that this doesn't connect to there. We just fed the magenta kill for three cards to the black player. It's fine. It's fixed. whoop de doo Worst case scenario, we give this guy an extra like 10 worth of 10 troops. Not that big of a deal. I've already got nine troops more than him. And who knows, maybe it's bad dice here? Bad dice? No. All right. But he does get the kill. Much. Wait, no, no, no. He's, he's, got, he's got magenta kill guarded down there. Oh, bad dice. Oh, he's giving up the cap. He knows I'm coming for him. He's giving up the cap. Interesting. Well, no, no. He knows he's going to got the card trade down. He's going to turn him in. I'm not sure why he attacked a 7v12. It doesn't make a lot of sense. You're a player, right? Yeah, you're still here. There's three players in one bot left in here right now. Good match. Not sure why he's attacking that out. Oh, he's trying to break him. Good play. Good play. He didn't have an immediate card trade. I think he knew I was going to take that from him next turn anyway, so he's just kind of giving up. That works out great. That's a one, two, three point hold with two caps. Once I get that eventually. That's really good. Bot might grab that cap for me first. I might actually just go ahead and get this, get that cap strong, keep this strong and have that there. And it's a one, two, three point hold on this bonus, these two bonuses, the caps. We might lose that. Don't have that yet. We might lose that. And then the next turn, take it back. Two's fine. I'll still snag it two as long as it doesn't fortify a bunch over there. Four? Yeah, yeah four. Yes, fine. I can, I'll, I'll take four. That's fine. Get myself even stronger. I don't know what, I think the black player decided to come down here and fight this was a mistake. The the black player had this. They should have gone for Russia. They could have had, uh, a, like, they could, have gone for, they could have gone for Russia and this. I guess the, the bot they're worried about. We, I mean, I'm a little concerned about this down here, but let's stack this over here and hit over here and then hit over here. Oh, the, the troop loss there was astounding. Um, crazy loss of troops. I think a nine probably holds. I think a nine probably holds, hopefully. Can't believe how many troops. That was four. Did we have, was that like 13 troops we lost in four? That's crazy. That's crazy. At least my nine and my 14 should hold fairly strong. We're getting stronger. I anticipate this and this getting broken. It's possible somebody might try to yoink this cap or break this. We'll see. Purple's got to wait. I'm not super worried about purple getting towards me. The black player, they've got, they could car trade. But the, I don't think the black player is going for me. I fed the magenta kill. To, I mean, the, I made the magenta kill easier for the black player. Is the black player going to bot out and give up right now is my question. Are you going to bot out and give up right now? If you bot out and give up right now, that's that could be kind of tough. Is that tough for me? I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad for me if you bot out. I, th I think you might be giving up too soon, frankly. I've got a three point hold on with two caps. You've got a you've got a one point hold on all of this. You could one point hold right here. It's off cap though. Um, hmm. But yeah, you could just if you bought it out, I need to devastate purple soon. Question is did you actually bought out or not? If you bought it out, I have to go through I have to carve through seven, nine, eleven troops to get down to purple is the problem. That's the problem. The bots are rampaging near me. Plus 20 for you is crazy. That's so many. But if you want to waste your troops attacking the black player for me, that'd be good. No, you're playing it safe because you know you're doing all right here. Plus 24 and a card trade of 12. There's also there's no guarantee that the black player bought it out. He might still be here. 34 could rampage through here. That's not guaranteed to get you, though. Um, I think what we do is we... The bot could card the red can't the red bot can't card trade, so I'm not crazy worried about that. Um let's just get I'm gonna fortify that 12 for it actually. Let's get 20 here. Let's get 20 here. And then put these over here. Secure this. And fortify this over to here. If purple wants to come through and break me, it could easily be very, very costly for them. They gotta go through this 11, unless the bot like does something over here, if you even bought out. I'm not sure they bought it out or not. We're in a much stronger position here though. Looking a lot better. The question is... Hmm, what do I do now? Apart from like, car trade and strength up my position. I mean... I could go for Russia and add... Uh, take my 1, 2, 3 point hold into a 1, 2, 3... No, into a 1, 2... Three, four point hold. The, okay. I, are you pretending to be a bot? If you actually bought it out last turn, the bot would have taken over. So you're still here. 
think you're pretending to be a bot. Or having internet connection issues or something. So if I want this bonus, I'm no longer on this cap, and I have four to defend instead of three. Pressure plus seven. Um, if I grabbed all this and this, it becomes a one, two, three, four. No, well, if I grab down here, I mean, I could have a, a one, two, three point hold right here. Eventually, so that, and have two extra bonuses. Six red bot. You're a bot now. Okay, so you did bot out. All right. So I'm not sure I want to mess around with going for all of that when there's two bots it's gonna be messing around in my territory. You're just card skipping over there. Plus twenty for you is a lot. You're gonna get stronger and stronger down there. I could try to take the the ooh attack over there. Lost nine troops. Now it is easier for me to reach down and get through to you. Twenty nine troops. Oh, uh, gives me what fifty seven here. Hit three one 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 four. It really soften you up. It could be worth it now. There's just you, me, and a couple bots. So soften you up. I think you're you're just too strong there in that one point hold. Oh, come on, 41 breathe, 37, we do that, that's huge for us. Nah, I didn't really attack that, whatever. And uh, you're gonna come through and break me, aren't you? Unless the bot's getting away a little bit. Um, let them. Let them break me. Let them come through and break on my bonuses, that's fine. Should have a card trade, also the bot's rampaging. Also, we got rid of that huge 40 stack they had. I mean, they get plus 20 next turn, and they can easily come through and break everything I have. And then I get what? Uh, I mean, I get three by default, five, seven. I might get like territories, eight, nine, ten. I need the bot to like leave ten there or something. Would be great. Get in the way, or like just leave some there. Don't know if they will. This bot will spread out. I don't. I don't think the bot's gonna leave a lot in the way to block out your twenty from coming through and doing damage. I mean, a couple of twos and threes might help actually. The red bot will probably attack into that. Oh, four or five up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, good, good. You're still a bot, right? Yeah, all right. I'm not sure that attack was the play, but I can't let that guy have like a, a 60, 80, 100 stack on a one point hold down there while I'm fighting two bots up in my territory. It's a no go. All right. Let's just leave a two, and th uh, so two, three, one, one, three, so two, five, six, seven, ten troops. Yeah, you're gonna come through and break everything I have. I have a card trade. I really need to uh, have better dice. And like come through and broke your bonus, but I ran out. Oh, that 26. Yeah, that's that's every bonus of mine gonna be broken here. I need you to get some terrible dice. You're getting fantastic dice. I can't believe the dice they're getting. They're losing like nothing. There we go. Lost four. There we go. Split poorly, please. All right, they'll have to three there. They're getting great dice. Don't get a 2v1 on me. They got great dice there. Don't get a 2v1 on me. Um, if we keep ice on that something. Here's the thing, they didn't leave really defend much. I could I could ignore this and I could run my 20 cap down and break everything they have. They didn't think of that. They didn't think of that. They didn't think of that. They didn't think of me running this down. Let my bonuses be broken right now. What's more valu valuable to me is running through and devastating your bonuses. This is far more useful to me. This is This benefits me a lot more. Get that 10 stack trapped. Let's take away maybe your territories as I can here. In fact, what I can actually do, I can just take the cap that's inside of your turf. And then we can fortify... Well, let's not leave this free for somebody else, but, you know, one of these maneuvers. Now you're in a lot rougher situation down here, buddy boy. Life just got a lot harder for you. Even if they had gone through and broken all this, that 20 stack plus, you know, card trade, I damage on them. Damage on them. Damage on them. So much damage. Now we're in a much better situation. I've got free access right here to break this bonus all the time. No defense on a cap for them. No uh, bots getting, having to carve through bots to get to them. We're in a much stronger position right now to deal with the threat that the purple player has been throw, presenting to us. Also, I'm holding, holding this bonus. I mean, they'll probably hit that, right? Unless they don't want my 12 getting free. Now we're in a much better position. Now I can work on reclaiming this, you know, three-point hold over here while keeping this over here so they're busy dealing with this rather than up here. Trying to reclaim some strength. Remember, I still have to beat the two bots to win. So even if I do deal with purple and weaken them up, if I spend too much effort and resources on the purple player then I, and let the bots get crazy strong, one of them gets dominant, then I could lose the bots. And our goal is to win and beat everybody. Everybody. All right, 11 troops for you, no card trade, that's gonna help a lot. Your 10 is pinned back there, you're gonna go through and break my bonuses, that's fine. 
I'm not super worried about that. You're going to break that bonus. That's actually a good play in the purple's part. Weaken me up so I'm not getting as much next turn. That's fine. I don't mind that so much. That's fine. I still got three capitals. I'm getting plus six from the capitals. I'm guaranteed nine a turn, just even if I'm down to like everything. Yeah, 12 there. Yeah, we're fine. Um, we can stack these over here and just go ahead and uh, do some damage over here as best we can. Eventually push them out of this part of the board. It's going to take some time, but, you know, work on it. And fortify this back over to here. Come on, click the right thing, please. Thank you. Purple and I are probably going to, like, fight back and forth here a little bit, which is good. They've got a one-point hold on a, a bonus is nice, but that's what? Uh, a capital and plus four is plus six. I've got one, two, three, plus six. As long as I don't lose my capitals, I get my plus six. So that's good. I got to deal with these bots rampaging around me. I need to get the purple out of here. Eventually, the bots will probably start attacking around here a bunch, and we can buy these purple territories and eventually get them out. Um, I need to get a card trade before purple would be good. Don't have it yet. Might be a while before I get purple out of here. That's the biggest threat. Is purple's gonna work? I'm gonna. I'm kind of like even with purple for a while here, and we might still made a bit here between the two of us. Is a problem. Uh, also, the bot putting a nine up. The bot's gonna want to hit that capital eventually. I need to defend that. What I could, you know what? You know what? Abandon this capital for a little while, and use this twelve to push purple entirely out of this part of the board. Get them pinned down there. That's what we do. That's what we do. Could have done that last turn, actually. Uh, this capital, what's a bot going to take it? I'll just take it back, right? 11 troops for you from 17 territories. You're going to stack there. And, yeah, you're going to do your thing. You're not a bot, are you? No, you're a player. You're making good choices here, too. Mmm, only lost two to hit my three. That's a bit rough. All right, we got to we gotta get this guy out of there. That's, or at least reduce his territory so not getting, getting so many extra troops. I'll sacrifice this capital. Just work on eventually... If I move this capital away, the black player and the red, the black uh, bot and the red bot will do a better job of like hitting him, right? We need to get you out of here, especially for card trades. Get over here. I don't know if I have enough to push you out of here, but I have to like try. Let's uh, just got to work on all the stuff as best I can here. Keep working on this. Part of the cards. Part of the cards. I'm lucky there. There we go. And... Do I even care about this up here? Or do I want to like move it down here? No, I want the black and red to like push in this way and help me against purple. Um... I'm gonna have to... The purple is like right now just kind of like... Just trying their best to make sure that I lose the bots, I think. Um... So what I need to do is... Or I mean, maybe this is like their best chance for winning themselves. I need to sacrifice his capital, let black and red work their way in over here, because eventually he's there. This guy's not going to be able to hold this and defend off cap against the bots. It's just not going to work. So uh, eventually, you know, it'll take a few turns. He's going to keep putting troops over here and all this eventually. But between me and the black bot, eventually he's just not going to have that. And what I need to do is I need to. I need to eventually start. Uh, how do I get myself stronger? I mean, I need to hold a bonus somewhere. Get the get the black bot inside of Europe here, and keep breaking this. Make sure he doesn't have it. And eventually, I have Scandinavia to get some troops going, and I can work maybe towards Russia. The purple player is like their their chance of winning this is like next to none. But they are determined to make sure that I lose to a bot, and I'm not having it. I'm not having it. All right, I gotta keep working on them. I also just keep make sure. Honestly, just attack out a bunch of territories. So I get more troops from a territory bonus and keep working on them. I need you to not have a card trade of four. Card trade from four really drags out. If you don't have a card trade of four and I do, I could I could probably push you out. Ah, and you had to trade a ten. They're all going up there because you're just obsessed with that corner. And I don't have a card trade. That's me not having a card trade is a problem here. That's not good. The fact you have a card trade of four and I don't is a problem. The fact that you're before me in the uh, turn order, I'm not. Then I me as well is a problem. Is there a way I could take this capital from you down here? At one point, hold on all those capitals is kind of nice. If you tack out too much, it's easy for me to come through and break you a bunch. Ah, uh, 14 is not going to do it. This 20 is blocked by that. This is a problem. He's actually turning this around nicely. Um, what do I do here? Break some of this. That's what I try and do. 
and uh, I mean, we, we just we just gotta like attack out as much as we can here. I'll leave the three there. Oops, I meant to click off, but whatever. This is actually this is actually kind of rough. The fact that he had card trade in four and I didn't is absolutely devastating. Like this guy might beat me just based on RNG. I was in the stronger position, but he got a card trade of four for ten. And I had no card train of four to like take that away from him. So now he's going to get an extra five troops. And if I had an extra 10 troops that turn, we could have had that four or five, whatever it is, hit that, come through here, break them. And he's not getting an extra five troops next turn. An extra five troops is going to be devastating. I'm trying to get the bots to kind of work with me a little bit here, but so far they're still in position that kind of benefits them. I could just start stacking troops over here. And then he's in a situation where he's fighting the bots over here. Because eventually this bot's gonna start pushing through here and then dealing with him. Yep, there he goes, breaking me there. That's unfortunate, yeah. Eventually they start pushing over here. Of course, the, bar, the bots might start, might start fighting each other. All right, how do, I, how do I get this? I mean, obviously, ideal situation would beat everybody. Second best uh, ideal situation, well, we beat purple and then one or two bots beats us. Preferably, I want to beat everybody. But ultimately, we got to make sure that purple loses, ideally. Beat every human in the match. See, here's the thing. Red and the, the red bot and the black bot are gonna slow each other down. If this I wish this 10 wasn't here, but the bots love stacking its caps. I could try and take that cap back, but I want Oh, he fortified away a bit. Good. 17 for you is insane. That's an insanely big problem. You're going for Scandinavia? Alright. You're stacking down there to defend that, I think, a little bit. What are you doing? And you want to protect that up a bit. I need you to like attack out too much or something. You're trying to grab skin. Ooh, bad dice. That's great. Love that. Oh, attack too much. Yeah, see, this might be a mistake. You're attacking out a little bit too much. Because the bot's probably going to break you next turn. That bot's probably going to break you next turn. Card trade for here. For here, uh, eight. Only an eight. Man, the card situation's not been great for us here. Um, 16. What do I do with this? Hit here, hit here, hit here, hit here. I can break you a little. Uh, there's no guarantee the bot's going to break them for me, so we got to do some damage here if we can. Get good dice. I have 10 versus 8. I gotta try. We didn't break them, but we did soften them up. Which is a win in of itself. Because, well, if the bot decides to stack here and attack around a bunch... 26. I just need to, like, assist the bot to push them out of here. If I can't get them out of here because they're first and then a cartridge order and just getting 10s on 4 or I'm getting 8s on 5, I gotta soften them up. So it's like free for the bot to take him at some point. Ooh, I like that. I like a 20 stack from the bot inside their border. Ah, this might be a situation where we just end up feeding a, the black bot the win. I'd rather not that be the case. Here's the problem. Red is just attacking this bot when this I need this bot to be attacking over here is a problem. But they're also pressuring this guy's cap right there, which will eventually they're going to start stacking more here to protect against that. So that's going to be an advantage. For us a little bit, and they're not stacking here for whatever reason, which is good for me. That bot trades in and attacks them as well. Oh, how do we win this? How do we win this? How do we win this? Hmm. I think purple. I think purple definitely has the goal of like I just got beat orange, and I'm getting. I, I would like to beat everybody, but I'm kind of like purple's kind of put me in a position where I just got to kind of beat them. <laughs> I would like to try and find a way to pull this back for an overall win. I just got to get them out of my corner. Plus 17 here, huh? All right, 17 is a lot. You're only seven troops ahead of me in spite of you getting a lot more per turn than I am. But I don't like that the bots are fighting over here instead of pushing to this. That's a problem for me. Yeah, you're trying to fortify that up. and But you are having to waste troops stacking against the bot, whereas I'm not. That's going to help us out a little bit. So yeah, yeah. Go down there and try to, like... Yeah, the bots... Here's the thing. The bot's not going down there. Seven for us. A car trade on three. Four dudes. That's not going to do anything. All right, um... Well, I got to go down here and break this from him, so... Fortunately, we got to go down here and uh, do this. Come on, break him, good. Four less for you. Move this back over here. Just gotta... I, I, need, I, need, I need the boss to help me out. I need the bot to keep stacking down here. Keep stacking down here. I need the black bot to help me out. The red bot... I need to, like, sabotage the red bot somehow. Pull this out. I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this and this. Bot trades in for ten. That's huge. Uh, I mean... I mean, eventually the black bot beats the red bot. I just need to kind of like do something about red. Okay, I, I stack some over there. That's good. I saw, I saw five. You want to attack? Yeah, yeah, put some troops in here, buddy. Don't go down there. 
Maybe I could like try breaking the red bot so the red bot's not getting all these troops over here because this oh this 24 surely breaks them, right? Go okay. I mean the black bot breaking the red bot is good because then once the red bot stops breaking them, the black bot will have a lot more to like deal with purple and put some threat on them. My cap here is pretty unoffensive to the black bot for now. Use the black bot to my advantage. It's gonna be I don't know how we beat the black bot. Um with uh, this much of troop advantage on them. I think maybe if I can get purple out of here um, and then just go through breaking. Um, I need you to not break this guy. You're going to break them, aren't you? Really? The red bot's causing problems for us, frankly. Gave that cap up just for the red bot to start causing problems over there. 17 for you is such a big advantage. I keep bringing that four down there, but it's not doing enough for me. I, yeah, yeah, stack more down there. Okay, stacking eight down there. That's good. That's good. You just card traded. All right, putting five up there. Yeah, yeah, play around in Scandinavia. That's good, that's good, yeah, yeah. I don't know why they're so concerned. They're, oh, they're trying to make sure I get less, like, territory bonuses? It's like 12 or more. Yeah, keep overattacking stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Free my... Oh, they don't want to free my 21 stack. Oh, they're trying to block me from being able to, like, do anything to them over there. Card train of four for four. That's no dice. That's no dice. What we do here is... Do I want to hit that red three? For a card? Is it worth it? What do I want to do? They're trying to, like, card block me, but it's fixed. That's less important. I could easily lose more hitting a three than I get, but, I mean, at this point, let's just soften up red. We only lost two. That's not bad. Fortify this back over to here. Give red something due over here. I got 42. They've got 70. They've got a big advantage because that one turn where they got a card train of four for 10, and I didn't get my card train until five and only got eight, that cost everything. If I had had a card train of four just like that, e even for eight, they would not have gotten that new core from me. But, but I'm working the bots to my advantage. That's the difference. I realize that this appears less of a threat. This over here is just bots going to slam through a territory. Unfortunately, they're still busy dealing with red, but they've got 120. They've got 70. And they are all up in uh, the, the black bot's business. I, I need to keep just keep if I can't attack. If I done, I should have done that earlier. That's what we should have done earlier. I should have been attacking in Russia more breaking over here. And uh, I mean, I guess breaking them was good, too. But yeah, look, at there we go. There we go. That, that nine should attack that three, but whatever. Get this bot nice and strong over there. Love to see it. Love to see it. And this bot's gonna, the red bot's gonna probably keep them a little bit busy, unfortunately, but they're, they're getting stronger. At this point, the, the black bot getting first and me getting second would be uh, a pretty good outcome. I would prefer to, oh yes, fail it, don't take that capital. Fail that 7v3, fail it. Ah, that's unlucky, I really need the black bot to have this and this, and then they can start pushing over here. Now you're getting 21, that's a problem. That's a problem. This cap's well defended, I can start capping, stacking troops down here for survivability, but... The bot might stack here and try to get it. Hmm. Honestly, my best bet is just keep working on, you know, hit uh, a red for one and fortify back on that cap for defensive purposes. Get a big old stack over here. Oh, you're going to try to hit me off my cap. Oh, you're going to hope for the dice. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I think purple realized the threat that they're under. The thing is, they can afford to do that. Uh, seven troops. Card train five. Give me ten. If, oh, th th three dudes. Agony. The cards are going to lose me this game. The cards are going to lose me this game. Get you out of here. Fortify back. I think I think purple sees what I'm doing. They see the problem that they're this being presented to the bot. Please, I beg you, black bot, please attack this. I beg you, stop playing around with the the the, the red bot forever. And yeah, there's a card tree of 10. Fantastic. Oh, they put a bunch here, put some around here, break purple. They're not going to touch purple at all. Purple's just going to get to keep their bonus. Come on, Red, you're, uh, the black bot's killing me, man. They're killing me. They're getting their borders, but not defending them. Now purple's probably going to start breaking the black bot. Oh, no. That one unlucky turn. My only hope here is to, is to stack on this cap as best I can and have purple not get god dice hitting me. Well, true random is actually a bit easier for taking caps, I think. Maybe not at low amounts. Oh, they're getting. Oh, they're, I mean, this is good. This is good. Win that. Win that. Win that. Win that. Win that. Win that. Nice. Now red might break this, but if this gets broken. Maybe the black bot will be busy over here. I don't like how the black bot is obsessed with not going over here. I don't like that at all. And they get a card trade as well. They break them. It's not worth me to eliminate 
the red bot here. Oh man, this is rough. This is rough. The black bot is it's it's the, the black bot is a secret agent for the purple player. They just won't. It's a one. It's a one. Hit it. The black bot's a secret agent. The black bot is a secret agent working with the purple player to destroy my existence. I can't I can't get this bot to help me out to save my life. The purple player was in a losing position. But RNG from cards in that one turn and the bot just refusing to ever attack it has just gifted it everything. Now he's just going to keep throwing his 20 troops a turn at this till he eventually gets me. And the dice was huge for him there. Now I need to stack this cap. Now I need to card trade here for 10 is huge. Could have gotten that t t earlier. We stack here and we end our turn and fortify this down to here. Now we're again we're in a waiting position, but now I'm protected from purple's attacks. Now I can stack this. If he wants to come for me, he's got to go through that 20 stack. And now it doesn't really matter if the black bot's going this way, not that way. Aha! Now the black bot's going to work on purple. Yeah. Purple hasn't really been playing to get first place. They've been, been, they've been playing to make me lose because they decided a while ago that their win condition was to beat me. And so now we're in a situation where it's going to be nearly impossible for either of us to beat this bot. Um, so, but I mean, they've, they've, they've done a good job. It's going to secure my higher placement unless I can stack on this cap long enough to take advantage of capital mode. Because this red bot's going to get pushed out pretty soon. And then once that red bot's gone, hopefully they eventually start going for purple. Because purple's got open stuff here and here and here. They're splitting on two caps. Although there's... Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I could actually hit here. That way, if the bot decides to start stacking my cap, it stacks... Uh, it has to hit here first before it does. I might do it anyways. 24 troops for you, and you better put them on that cap. Because the bot's threatening your cap. They want that cap. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's all going right there, isn't it? Yep, yep. Oh, really? You're going to go through and break a, a bunch of the bot's bonuses, aren't you? That's going to cost you troops, though. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Ooh, man, they take their action so quickly. I just, that, that one turn, I was winning and outplaying them until they got lucky on RNG. One turn, one lucky turn. One lucky turn. I had, I saw them fighting down here. I made all the right plays, but nah, they get a card trade on four for 10 troops, pushes me out of here and I get, uh, I don't get a card trade until five and I only get eight. I needed, I needed a card trade on four, even a card trade of like eight on four would have been fine. They break it, they're breaking the bot to try and keep the bot busy over there. All I gotta do is just chill out over here. Won't be getting any card trades, but at this point it's, is the, can purple stop the black bot? Because the black bot's gonna get this soon and then the bot's gonna start attacking over this. Here's the problem. Even once the black bot pushes through all of this, like this right here, they've got a, a, a one point hold on six right here. I've got a, I get two, so I get nine a turn plus, you know, three by default. I get what, uh, four less, five a turn, whatever. Come on. Would you break this guy's bonus to save your life, bot? Get this out of here. We get this out of here. And eventually this guy should start working more on, on there we go. Get right out of here. All right. We're worrying about that. Bot hurries up and grabs their bonuses back. Eventually, they'll put more and more pressure on purple. And then it's just going to come down to who's in a better position to turtle in a corner, me or them. Problem is they're getting way more troops returned. If I'm purple, I stack everything right here. Everything goes right here. Everything goes right here. I stack, 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 stack here more, more, more. And then eventually the black bot um, will want us to hit my because mine because has less. That's their play, but it seems to be it seems to be that they don't want to do that. They want to keep breaking the bot. They're trying to keep the bot busy elsewhere. The bot's got such a massive advantage. My one advantage right now is the bot is stacking here and not here. If the bot starts stacking here, we're in trouble. This goes here. So I'm just going to chill out over here. The purple player wants to sabotage me to get the black bot that wins. All right, kind of like smacked my keyboard on the bottom of the mic there. Let's so move my keyboard around. And what's the bot going to do? What's the bot going to do? Card trade in there, bot? 21 right there. They're going to force the bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bot's going to start pressuring this cap. Get that cap away from the uh, six right there. I'm going to hit this one. Start taking away those extra troops. The sooner the better. Probably loses that. 23 v 10. Win it. Ugh, terrible dice. Uh, get this. 
Get that capital, maybe? Come on, get some pressure on them somewhere. Good, good. That's two less troops for the purple player. Come on, attack one more time and break that bonus over there. I, black bot, yeah, gotta hit this. Oh, they got 22 right there. They don't attack with it. See, this is the problem. The bots don't attack that many times per turn, and that the, the purple player could use that to their advantage. Which is what I want to do if I could have gotten myself in position ahead of the purple player, but the purple player, just one single turn, screwed me. So they're just going to keep stacking around. I've got no choice but to sit back and play out. The purple player forced me out of here, forces me to stack down here. I would like, like, I wish there's something I could do, but like, I'd have to go through all the black bots through here. I could try to like relocate to this cap over here, but that just puts the, the pressure on me more. Hmm, I need the bot to just really start doing some work here. There's gotta be something. Something, right? Really, my, my, like, my winning play in, in capital mode here, your winning play is the way. I could try and like card trade. You know what? Let's play a little bit more actively. Let's do some card trading. Lost three. I didn't card trade at the bot here, although that's probably a bad idea. The bot might stack like 20 there and hit and leave 10, right? Or 22 and have 22 stack next to me. But I can try and card trade. Then again, that's actually, you know, if the bot stacks here, that's troops not getting placed elsewhere. That's troops might get, uh, might put his eyes upon me. That might not be great for us, frankly. All right, so it's getting a 34 over there. Oh man, this is one of these things that... Let's look at the count, troop count difference. They got a 140 advantage. I want to see the difference between this number and this number slowly increase over time. If it becomes like a 200 advantage, 250 advantage, then that means the purple player eventually loses this slow back and forth that they're doing. Yes, get them out of Scandinavia. That way you stop putting troops up there. Attack again. I wish the bot attack more times per turn. I wish the bot would get its head out of its butt and attack over here. I don't know why the bot's obsessed with not breaking this. I don't understand that at all. At least they're stacking troops in the border, so the purple player will, you know, be more expensive to hit it. They're starting to get some defenses up. We'll card trade from them. All right. So they got them out of there, but the purple player can stack right here. And I mean, they have to hit a six at the least right there. They're defending that. They're going to hit that six and probably go around and hit this, hit this. Oh, they're going for that capital, but they'll still probably hit this, hit this four or five back. You don't break those two bonuses? That's honestly a bad play. I think that's a mistake on Purple's part. Five troops for us. Go over here. And enter. 50 for the bot. I think Purple really... Purple's chance to win here is either to try to beat the bot in a 1v1, because the bot is just giving them free stuff over here. It just... It, sh it shouldn't. They should be breaking the bot to reduce the bot's income. And I mean, I guess they're getting the bot to like stack troops around their cap there and waste troops hitting the cap, but the bot's getting a lot more troops return. It's got, a, you know, that gap seems to be widening a little bit. Finally! Finally! Why couldn't you have done this like a, a dozen turns ago when I was still in the game? Stop being a secret agent for the purple player, please. There we go. Get him out of there. That's less troops for the purple player. Fantastic. Love that. Get rid of the extra territories. Have that 21 attack here and here to kind of pin that knight from doing as much damage. No, because you're kind of dumb. But we have a 160 advantage at the end of the, bo the bot's turn. They're closing the gap. They actually broke the purple play over here. Fortify more on top of them. Fantastic. Keep pressuring them to stack more down here for safety. Love that. We might pull second place out of this. There's a world where, because the I know the bot takes their turn so slowly, that I could like snoop my way out of here and then break the bot like crazy and gradually pull back a 1v1 against this bot. Now they're going through and breaking the bottom a bunch. It's a good strategy. Should have been doing that every single turn. Uh, what's the gap? Well, I, I, I was measuring the gap after the, the black bot took his turn. A little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and uh, in turn there. 39 for you is still more than the purple player is getting. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? Come on, there's a, there's a world, there's a world. There is a world. Oh, what's the the start of your turn? Yeah, 10 troops. You've got 185 more troops, which you haven't had done your attacking yet, but that's more than the 140, I believe we said before. So still with the lead, still a bot. Players sometimes like bot out for a while and come back. Keep working on their troops. Get that 19. Win, 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 win. Nice. And only lost five more than they did. That's fantastic. Win that, win that, win that. And they lost like none. Oh, the dice the black bot's getting now is fantastic. The purple player is getting weakened down. Their cap doesn't have that many more troops than mine does. 
There's a world where the bot uh, uh, takes out purple first, if we're lucky. There's a world where they hit, hit this cap and then go for mine next and leave purple trap back there, which would not be so cool. So that's a thing we gotta worry about. Ten troops for you. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna work on taking the bot out as much as you can. Breaking this. Ooh. Oh, I see. Oh, clever, clever. They're doing their thing again where they want to try and use their troops to beat me. Yup, yup, yup. All right. Oh, wait, you screwed up. You screwed up. I can push you out of here. I can push you out of here. That was a mistake. I can, that's a mistake. Now I gotta go all the way across the board to, to reach me again. No more free attacking over there for you either. That's a mistake on their part, ladies and gentlemen. An error was made. As long as bot doesn't come to me. This 52 is trapped by that 65. They could stack here. They have to go through this nine, this or then this four, and then down to me. Or through uh, you know, this four and this eleven all the way down through me. And the bot's gonna put troops in there. And now we're finally getting the situation where I want it to be. With me here. And then there. I just, need the, I just need the bot to not, like, care about this Italy for whatever reason. Yeah, that's fine. Had that three attack that one. Or had that attack there and just, like... Alright, seven's not great. Being that, a lot of seven being there. I could actually stack troops here, slow roll that down with something less than seven, fortify it back. I don't waste the troops. That's good, though. This is good. Um, yeah, yeah. We might scrape a second place out of this yet. <laughs> this match has been crazy. Oh man, if I, I, I don't know if I could, it's possibly beat a bot with this much of troop advantage. I'd love to try. They do like to move off cap and stuff. They don't attack them many times per turn. That's a strong defense. If purple wants to get to me, they have to go through 4, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 30 troops to reach me. Not happening. They're not reaching me. They're not reaching me. They just they should just be stacking cap at this point. They just need to stack cap. You're you're not gonna do much here You're not gonna do much here All you can do is get that bot to just attack and slowly work on you more get you out of that corner I need to keep defending over here and We waited for our moments purple made a mistake 65 for the black bot It just comes down to the bot man RNG has screwed me over this entire match it's like I've outplayed purple almost the entire match and they just got lucky in one turn, that swayed the advantage in their favor. And they even screwed up here again, allowed me to push them out. They should have been running through breaking the bot to get themselves to... They should have just tried to claw back against the bot. They just were obsessed with going for me, really. They've been playing for second the whole match. Of course, they don't attack with the 49 there. Um, fortify that 49 for uh, I don't love that. I might have to hit that 6 just to make sure, you know, discourage the bot from fighting over here, right? Oh, I love this. 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 Keep going. Keep it going, baby. Playing turn. Playing turn. That time of that turn timer. Hit that fourteen. Hit that fourteen. Come on, don't you? For yes, yes. Look at that stack next to them. Look at that stack next to them. Didn't fortify next to me. That's so good for me. I gotta hit that six and fortify back. You're in a you're in a bad spot, purple. <laughs> you're in a bad spot. Oh, it'd be the best second place of my life. We gotta get the six out of here. Like that there. Ooh, good dice, too. That way, you know, I don't want if... Oh, 76 is a lot. Yeah, I mean, they could stack here and hit that. They don't, for the most part, they don't really seem to care about that so much. I just don't... Bots love to stack, stack next to cap, so don't have them... Don't give them that chance. What do you do, bot? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Card tray of 10. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like a 52 stack right there. Oh, but hit that 75 stack. Hit that 75 stack and win. Hit it and win. Because I'm trapped back here now. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Come on. Here's the thing. There's a world where the black bot pushes me out before purple because they have to go through all these little territories. Uh, and they don't take enough actions per turn. So there's a very strong chance the bot fortifies over here and I lose next turn simply because the bot just only attacks like a two minute turn timer different story maybe it's just it's not gonna take it all all these territories in time and it's gonna fortify next to me oh it didn't fortify next to me but it could still it's it's, oh, it's anyways, second or third this becomes video to be fair i think i've outplayed a purple almost the entire match i think i've deserved a win uh, or at least beat them but they've made their mission to make sure that i don't win they didn't play for first they played for second I would have liked to play for first, but they just are going for me the whole match, right? They didn't want to, like, try and deal with the bot at the same time. Here's the problem. 
Bot's most likely going to stack everything here. Might hit me here first and hits me here first. Probably hits there. Probably gets seconds. Undeserved. Look what they have. They don't even have a capital. They just get, they just simply because the bot doesn't attack enough times per turn. Don't know why they're running out the turn timer here. I think purple just might be a very, like, the fact that they're running, they put their troops down and they're running the turn timer around now just tells me, like, they might just be a very, <laughs> very salty sort of loser. Or maybe they've left because now they know that they've lost. I don't know. I mean, if I was them, I'd want to stick around and see who the bot takes out first. Because it could easily be me. It could easily be me. I could attack here first. No. Uh, we just gotta, we gotta hope. We gotta hope. We gotta hope that the bot doesn't stack there. 83 troops goes here. Boom. I'm done. Come on, don't stack here. Don't stack here. Don't stack here. Come on, come on, come on. At least don't stack much. Come on. I know you can take out purple this turn. It's only, what, three, four, five, six, seven territories. You literally had enough to do it last turn. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, that might be it. 90, 90 might not take out 51. Uh, probably does. Or maybe they t take out purple first. It's gonna, oh, it's over. It's over. It's Jover. It's Jover. No, 96 versus 51. Come on. They're gonna attack me first. Go for purple first. <gasps> Wait, take out purple first. Take out purple. Oh, come on. Come on. Go for purple first all the way. Uh, down here too. Down here too. Down here too. Come on, man. That's it. No! No! <laughs> no! Come on, man! Shenanigans! I've been robbed! That's a thief! I deserved to win there, but RNG cursed me from start to finish! But there it is. You'll love to see it. Now I have plenty more videos you can watch too, like this one right here. See you next time!